Wow, you can see this thing is actively pissing out all over the place. All right, guys, if you're dealing with a jack that has a leaking issue, just like mine does here, you can see it's leaking out of here. There's an O-ring, and it's actually creating a little puddle on the floor. Well, today, I'm gonna fix this jack and show you how I do it. This is your standard Craftsman three-ton floor jack. I got it at Sears a few years ago. It was a Black Friday deal that came with these three-ton jack stands, and I thought it was a good deal. I love the jack, it's great, and this is the only problem that I've had so far. So let's see if we can fix it. I went to Home Depot and I picked up these number 11 O-rings. They are three-quarter outer diameter, 9 16 inner diameter by 3 30 seconds thickness. So the first thing I have to do is take this nut off. In order to to do that, I'm gonna to have to lock these gears. Once those are locked, I can grab my 17 millimeter and begin the process of loosening the nut. Once this nut's off, go ahead and remove the gear. Just pull straight up, there's a lock ring on there. And now we can see our problem. There's an O-ring inside of here that is no longer doing its job. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my adjustable wrench throw it on there and just hit it with my mallet. That'll loosen it up, unscrew it. This bottom pin just unscrews and then this top pin just pushes through and the O-ring is actually inside of here. To get the O-ring out, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pick like this. Just try to dig in there behind it. Push that sucker out. Okay, so here you can see the original O-ring, and here's the new one. They are pretty much the same thickness, and it's about as close as I can find to the exact same dimensions. I'm feeling in my hand, it feels like the original one is just ever so slightly wider. Now, I don't know if that's, you know, just from being used over the years and maybe it's been stretched a little bit, but it just feels a little tiny, tiny bit bigger. But to the eye, they look nearly identical. So we're gonna go with that and see how they work. Okay, so looking inside, you can see the groove which the O-ring needs to sit. So we just need to push our O-ring in and seat it in place. First thing I'm gonna do though is try to clean out some of the debris in there. I do see some of the paint chips from this thing inside that track, so I'm gonna clean it out. To get this O-ring in, I'm gonna slide a finger inside of this nut to guide the O-ring. I'm gonna push it into one corner and help it seat in. And there we have it, a seated O-ring, if you can see it. Feels nice and tight on our bolt. So now all we have to do is screw this thing back in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this other piece and screw it in just a couple of turns, just like that. And hand tighten it. Then I'll take my wrench and tighten it down. Give it a few love taps with the hammer. Just like that. Then we set our gear back in place, replace the lock washer, and of course the nut, and then tighten her down with your ratchet. And with everything tightened up and put back in place and functioning properly, you can go ahead and follow your jack's manufacturer's recommendation for air purging. And once you're done with that, your jack should be good to go. Disclaimer here, I am not a professional technician. I may be doing something wrong. I'm doing the best I can in my case to show you how I'm fixing my jack. This might not be the right way to fix your jack, so definitely follow your manufacturer's recommendations. Well now we can go ahead and double check that this thing is working properly by locking it in. I've already went through the purging process. Let's see if it lifts my truck. All right. No weird sounds and everything seems to be working exactly like it should. Let's go ahead and drop it. Perfect. And so far in the 10 minutes after I performed this O-ring fix, there is no leaks. Everything is nice and dry. 
But due to the nature of the beast, I will go ahead and keep an eye on this thing for some time to come, looking for other leaks, just in case this O-ring doesn't quite fit exactly right. I did try two other O-rings that looked fairly close, but this was the best one I could find. So hopefully third time's a charm and this one will work out for good. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment below if you have a suggestion for me and check the description below for more information. Thanks for watching, General Expert here on YouTube. I will see you next time.